All right, so today we're talking about the maintenance message and how to uh, and alter that service menu. Uh, that's where you're going to find the, the service message uh, information, how to take it off and do certain things with the maintenance interval. So this procedure is the same for the 4200 series, all of them inside of that series. So it doesn't matter if it's a 4200, 4250, 4350, 4300. Uh, the code or PIN numbers to get into the maintenance um, or the service menu are different. So those will be posted in the blog notes or in the blog body. And you can just pick whatever machine you have and use that uh, proper PIN code. So to get into the service menu, you're just going to take the check button um, and get into your menus here. Go back one. So in, in, the, in here, you're either going to be in ready or it might have that maintenance message flashing. Either way, you just um, take it offline. Um, so hit the check and go in. The, into your menus, it's, you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom. That's where your diagnostics and your service menu is going to be. The service is going to be at the end. You see that lock button? It's locked because you can do certain things in here that technicians uh, should only be doing. So when you go into this, just make sure you're only dealing with what we show you how to deal with here. Uh, so when you click on that, it's going to ask you, you're going to have a blank, it's going to be blank and you're going to have this long line here and that's going to be where you start entering the number. So you just use your up and down toggles to you know, go up and down in the number sequences. And then when you press the check button, it's just going to automatically advance and then you put your next one in. So you might have to do this a couple times. He's just going to put the number in here for this one, which is a 4200. Again, those numbers will be in the blog um, body, so you'll see you can pick whatever one you need. So once you get to the end with the last number, it's going to ask you to continue. And now it's now you're in the service uh, menu. So scroll down to the maintenance count and maintenance interval there. So essentially what you have going on is you have the maintenance message that came up and it's it is a predetermined page count that will spawn that message and say you, you want to put a maintenance kit in it. You don't always have to do it, especially if there's nothing wrong with the printer. A lot of times you don't want to do it. It's just a kind of a general guideline that HP came up with to say you might want to replace your maintenance kit. So as long as it's working fine, we really don't need to do anything. We can just take the count off. Uh, the maintenance interval is just something, again, you can change that interval. If you go in there, you can change that interval to whatever you want, but I would just leave it where it's at. So when you go into the maintenance count here, you can see ours is already zeroed out, but just scroll up on some of that. So you can, you know, for example, if we had 373 pages on it and you come into your maintenance menu, you'll probably have 100,000 or 300,000 or half million, whatever your number is. Just use your uh, down arrow to zero out the count. And once it gets to zero, just hit the check button to make the asterisk. So ours is already at zero, so it already had it, but um, go back into that count. Just make sure you get the asterisk when you're um, at the zero. And really that's it. And you just use your back button there to back out of all the menus and go back to ready and you should be good to go. What I would do too is just power cycle it here um, and just turn the, turn the machine off, leave, leave it sit for you know, 10, 15 seconds power the thing back up and you should be good to go. If something didn't take or it comes back up, you might want to just go through this procedure again and uh, try it again. But that should be it.